Josh Law joins me now after a penalty shootout win. Josh, not as comfortable as the other games, but your team are through. How does that feel? Yeah, brilliant. I was I was pleased tonight because um, I said to the lads, we've had a different kind of test tonight. Uh, we've come up against a good side. I think they've been together a while by all accounts and um, had a good structure to them, a good shape. And I thought it was a really good game. I so say it might not have been as entertaining as the other ones, goals wise and stuff like that, but I thought it was a really good a really good battle out there and I was really pleased with how the lads stood up to a different kind of test. You mentioned there that it was a bigger test than what you've had in the previous round, so how proud are you of your players that they've stood up to that and got through it? Yeah, very I like it. You know, I sound like a bit of a broken record, but they're they're a pleasure every day. Like I say, they're a pleasure that anything you've asked them they try it and they try and carry it out to the letter. Um but again, the young lads, 16, a lot of them, I think majority of 16 is only T, George and um, Valbert, who are second years tonight, and they're quite young themselves. So again, they've stood up to the test, they've, they've gone and passed another test, and we go on. What were you thinking when the 95th minute equaliser again? I think the game couldn't have gone on much longer. <laughs> I was gutted for Louis, obviously, giving the penalty away. You could see it coming, he's, he's kind of made a bit of a hash of the clearance. He's tried to make up for a bullish error and he's just he's a bit naive on that. But again, literally turned 16 a couple, of, a couple of weeks ago, Louis is a young lad. He lives that experience tonight and he learns from it. And that's the only way these young, young lads get better. They have to live through those experiences and they become better players and better team from it. What was that like for you on the sideline watching that penalty shoot? I know at times I was a bit nervous watching it, so you must have been. Yeah, it's, it's, it's one of them. It's a lottery, isn't it? Penalties, I just said to him calm and composed, pick your spot, you miss, you miss, it's a game of footy and at the end of the day it won't be the first or last person to miss a penalty so you just got to look at it like that I think. Do you prepare for situations like that in training? So the, the lads um, took it upon themselves yesterday, said so can we take some penos, we're like yeah fine and I said to uh, Wayne and Duff's on the side, it went too well yesterday, they're all putting in the top corner, uh, side netting, I thought <laughs> it's probably gone too well but they stepped up and all composed. That must be great for a coach that your players are willing to put the extra practice in. Yeah, definitely. As I say, like I said before, they're, they're a great bunch and they want to learn, they, they, they want to get better every day. So that's a great starting point for them. Wade Hines again, maybe will get the plaudits for the goal that put us ahead and the winning penalty. But I think tonight Gianni Mustin in goal has made two great penalties and then at one nil he's pulled off an amazing save from mm. point blank range. How great has he been today? Oh, very good. Yeah, he's a, he's a good lad, he's a good keeper. Um, again, Young lad, decision maker at times can be better, but it's going to get better. I say over the year and uh, two years, he's going to be here, hopefully more. Uh, we see a big future for him, so he needs to keep doing what he's doing. And like you say, with Wade, he's took responsibility penalty, took responsibility at the end. But like we say, we always demand more from him. I think he can give more, I think he can do more, and he will. Josh, well, congratulations. You're in the next round for the FA Youth Cup, and I'll let you go. Cheers, Harry. Thanks, mate.